Hi everyone, Matt Stewart here with Cobalt Banker Ronin Realty, here to talk to you about the market stats from August of 2022. As you can see, we've got a little bit more inventory coming to the market. As you can see, the interest rates have definitely taken effect. We've seen a drop off kind of steadily through the stats from obviously going from February till now. A little more inventory for buyers. Interest rates still making it a little bit difficult, but there's tons of opportunities for buyers and sellers out there. So we're going to dive right into the stats and then I'll do my takeaway at the end. As we take a look at the Innisfil market, last month we saw the average purchase price sitting around 865,000, as opposed to where we were sitting in July at around 916,000. That market's still correcting, so we saw that 5% adjustment. And then we had 94 new listings and 38 sales last month. Again, we had an increase of inventory, almost 10 homes more than we saw the previous month. And then we had seven more sales. So I think more sales, more inventory, that's why we're seeing the adjustment in pricing. Still a very strong market on a year over year basis, but as we look month over month, seeing the inventory levels start to rise, it's gonna start bringing prices down. Good news for buyers and sellers, you're still making out ahead on a year over year basis. That's the market stats for August of 2022. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions about the market, my information is below. My takeaways on what I think you're gonna see going into the fall market. Again, interest rates are definitely playing a factor. People are starting to tighten up spending. So I think we're going to see a pullback in terms of pricing, but I don't think we're going to see an overly large increase in inventory. As people see the uncertainty, there are going to be more people waiting things out to kind of correct and figure out what's going to happen maybe going into the spring. So for you buyers out there, there are going to be deals that come to market, but there's not going to be as many as you think there are. So if you are looking at buying, talk to your mortgage broker, figure everything out, get pre-approved, get your numbers in line so that when that good opportunity comes up, you're able to jump on it. Because as a buyer, seller, it doesn't matter what you are. If you're in the real estate market, time in the market always beats timing of the market. So get in now. If you think rates are going to go down, do a two-year mortgage. Do the variable. Even though the variable is starting to be a little more kind of fluctuating right now, being on a two-year mortgage gives you options. So you can be in the market, gaining equity, and then if rates go down, you just refinance. On the selling side of things, Right now, prices are the highest they're going to be. We saw the peak in February and a slow decline as we get to this point. Right now, there are good opportunities. If you're looking at upsizing, that house that was two, 300000 over asking it would have gone, now it's going under asking. And then your home in relativity has dropped probably the same, but now you're able to make that lateral move to a bigger home without going way over budget. So again, buying or selling, talk to your mortgage broker, get approved. If you have any questions, just want to chat about the market, Again, all my details are below. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.